Hi, my name is Larissa Golett. I'm a Crow researcher from Northern Arizona University. Today, I'm here to guide you through running a Python script that helps you add metadata headers to student text. This video is part of a series our team has created to help you build your own corpus. For the whole series, please visit our YouTube channel. Okay, so now we're ready to actually run the script. So if you are on a Windows, the first thing you have to do is to open your terminal. In this case, we're going to be using Windows PowerShell. So I come here and I search Windows PowerShell and you can see here that it's already appeared. So I'm going to click here. And you can also see that when I open PowerShell, it will open inside my user. So this is C users, Goulart, which is my last name. So if you're doing this on your computer, this will probably be the name of your user. The first thing we have to do is to navigate to where you save your Chiabatta folder. In my case, I saved it in my download. So I'm going to navigate to my download. The way to do this is to do CD, so change directory, and then I can type downloads or I can press tab and it will auto complete. And then I press enter and you can see here that the path has changed. So now I am inside my downloads. If you need some guidance to where to navigate, you can do LS, which lists all the files inside the folder. You can see here that the only thing I have inside my downloads is Chiabatta Master. And I want to navigate to the inside of Chiabatta Master too. So I'm going to do CD, change directory, space, Chiabatta Master, and press enter. And you can see again that the path has changed. And if I do LS again, it will list everything that's inside my Chiabatta folder. And you can see here that we have automatic de-identification, manual de-identification, and metadata. In today's video, we're running the script for metadata. So we're going to also enter this folder. So we're going to do CD again, change directory, paste, metadata, and press enter. If we do LS again, you can see that the path here has changed. So if we do LS, it should list everything that we have inside this folder. And you can see here that we have the metadata folder. So inside this folder, we have information that came from the registrar about the student. Remember that to uh, run this script, we need an Excel file and your corpus. So our corpus here is the standardized folder where we have the TXT files that have been standardized using the corpus processor tool. So before we run the script, we need to count how many files we have in order to check later if all the files actually have were converted and have a header now. So in order to count the files, we're going to do LS and then standardize because we want to count the files inside the standardized. And we'll do asterisk for each file inside standardized. So you can see here that I need to add more files. And if you're using PowerShell, you can use this screen that will open, this window that will open as a guidance. So you can see that I have three subfolders inside the standardized folder. So that's why I'm doing this. And then I do a last asterisk, period, txt, because I want to count all the different uh, txt files inside my standardized folder. And then I do pipe. So I did txt, space, pipe, measure object. And I'm going to put a flag for line because I want to count the number of lines that are inside of this because each line is a txt file. So you can see that I have 20 different files. So now we're going to run the script and then after that, we're going to run the same code again to see if we have the correct number of files. So in order to run the script, we're going to first start with Python and we're going to write the name of the script. So this is Chiabatta headers.pi. Then the next thing we're going to do is space and then we put two dashes because this is a flag and we're going to write directory. So here we'll indicate the directory where we saved our data. So in our case, we're running standardized 101. So these are the files we're going to be adding the headers to. And 
The last thing we need, it's another flag where we indicate where is the Excel file where we have the information about the student. So this is the master file. And then we put an equal and we indicate the path. So here we have metadata folder and master student data. So once I click enter, it should run the script. As, as you can see, we have first Python and then the name of the script, then the directory and where my texts are stored, and then the master file, and then we have where the master file is stored. So you can see here that once I click enter, the script will tell me uh, which file it is processing. So you can see here the name of the file that's being processed, and if it's writing on the specific file, and again, the file that's being processed. Okay, so the first thing we can do now is do ls to see if a file, if a folder was created with the files with the headers. So remember ls lists all the files I have inside the metadata, and you can see here that there is this new folder, files with headers. So before I had metadata folder and standardized, and now I have this new folder that's files with headers. What we want to know is if files with headers have the, the same number of files that we had before. So we're going to do ls again, and then files with headers. And then we're going to do asterisk again. Remember that we have one more subfolder now. And you can see here, that I'm at the TXT level. So this is the point where I stop adding two asterisks. And then I do one asterisk to count all the files that are TXT type measure measure object and then line. Ta -da! Success, we have 20 files. So we have 20 new files with headers now. This is it. So I hope you run the script on your files, and if you have questions, you can uh, go to our website and our YouTube channel. Thank you.